Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to be continuing on with our RPG game tutorial series. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to kind of uh, kind of draw and sheath um, your currently selected weapon, okay? Um, as well as kind of incorporating that with different animations and uh, just kind of all that stuff that we got going on. So, uh, if you recall from the last video, right, we set up kind of this you know attacking movement. Um, and obviously, you know, he doesn't have a weapon equipped right now, so we'll, you know, so we'll change it so that it only allows us to do that if we have a weapon equipped. Um, but if we do have a weapon equipped, right, you see we have these different kind of animations that we're in, right? We can sprint, you know, move around a little different. Okay, and if we use our slashes and all that, it looks a little cooler. Um, so we'll, yeah, we'll just look into fixing that as well as, um, as I previously mentioned, making him uh, draw and sheath his weapons. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go into our mannequin folder, animations, and sword and shield, and we're going to find the draw sword. Okay, so we'll take this draw sword one, we'll right click, create a new anim montage, and we'll just call this draw, um, draw sword, I guess, or yeah, just draw sword, I guess call it that draw sword montage and I guess you can't <laughs> I'm typing horribly right now so we'll draw the sword open it up and as you can see it's just the first half of the draw sword okay so what we'll need to do then is we need to take the draw sword 2 animation and we'll drag that in and just drop it right onto the little timeline here so if we drop it you see it adds it and now you know he's doing both animations together there's a little bit of a hitch, you know, at the point where it crosses, um, but I think that'll be okay. So, what we need to do then for this uh, montage is, as we're going through, right, at this point when we're drawing the weapon, we're going to call a um, a certain event, right? Um, so we're going to use a notify for that, and basically we're going to tell our character, you know, to draw his weapon. So we'll say add new notify. Okay, and we'll call this draw weapon. Okay, and we'll implement that later. Um, so that's all we need for right now. And we'll leave the slot here to default slot, not root motion. Because we're not going to drive it by root motion. We're going to have it layered in on top of, you know, our feet moving around. Okay. So we'll go back out and we'll find the sheath sword. So we'll right click on that, create an animation montage. We'll call this sheath sword uh, montage. Okay, we'll open that up, and we'll do the same thing, all right? Because it's only doing half of the animation, so we'll find the second half, this sheath sword two. We'll drag it and drop it on the timeline, and there we go. All right, he's doing his thing. Um, again, there's that weird little hitch there because he kind of snaps back to his root place, um, but you know that'll be that'll be fine. Um, but again, so once he gets to this point, we will right click. Uh, or not right click there, we'll go down to notifies and right click, add a new notify that we'll call sheath weapon. Okay, and that's all we need to do there. So um, next, let's go to the graph and we'll implement these. So we will right click and we'll say, you know, draw weapon. Okay, then we'll also do the sheath weapon. And basically what we want to do for these is cast to our character, so you know we can duplicate from before, or you know, copy paste, however you want. Okay, we'll cast to our character, and then um, you know we'll do some stuff. So um, what we'll do is we'll call an event that we need to make, you know, call draw weapon or sheath weapon uh, accordingly. So we'll go, you know, back out here and um, we'll find some open space. And I'm gonna right click, type custom event. And we'll call this draw weapon. Okay. So basically, what we want to do is, you know, if we're drawing our weapon, um, we're, we're assuming that it's kind of attached at our hip. Okay. Um, and so when we draw it, we need to unattach it from our hip and attach it into our hand. So how we'll do that is um, we want to first get our primary right hand item. Okay. Because we're I'm assuming here that this item is going to be, you know, kind of our, our weapon. Um, so we're going to get this, we're going to cast to, um, you know, base weapon, okay. Alright, and from our base weapon we want to say get weapon info. We'll take this weapon info and we'll break it. Then the only value we need here, 
Um, we can untick all of these except for the primary right hand. Okay, so we'll take that. And basically, you know, when we draw it, we want to attach it back onto our, you know, our our mesh primary hand. Okay. So to do that, um, we'll take our mesh here. We'll get them, and we'll say attach to component, and you want to find the one that is attaching to an actor. So it's this first one here. Okay, it should say target is actor instead of target is scene component. Okay, so we'll use that. And then the one we want to attach will be our primary right hand. So we'll copy paste that, plug it in, and then we'll say, you know, snap to target for all of these. Okay, so we can scoot that over now. So it's lined up a little nicer. Compile and save. And now after we've attached it, we just need to set a couple of our variables. So um, we need to set, you know, weapon um, sheathed to false, okay, because it's not going to be sheathed anymore. Then we need to set, you know, weapon, you know, attached, make sure it's still, you know, I guess, true. Okay, and then off of here, we're going to say set, um, not set weapon. Um, we're going to say set use controller rotation yaw um, to true. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the sheath weapon event. So right click, say custom event, call this sheath weapon. I'll zoom in there so you can see a little better. Um, basically, we'll do the same exact thing except just kind of the opposites. So we'll take all of this, we'll duplicate it, okay, move it into position, hook this up. Now, instead of the primary right hand, we're going to use the secondary right hand. So plug that in like so, and I just, you know, ticked and unticked corresponding values. And then we'll set this to sheath, and weapon attached will be false, and um, controller rotation yaw will also be false. Okay, so there we go. We've got that, right? Um, or, excuse me, we actually, what am I thinking here? Um, we might not actually need these in a little bit, so we'll come back if we don't need them. But anyways, for right now, we should have these events set up. So we can go back to our animation blueprint, and on the draw weapon and sheath weapon, we'll call their corresponding events. So we'll say draw weapon. Okay, then we'll say sheath weapon and that should work nicely for us. Okay, so last thing that we need to do now, because um, this, um, or I guess we have two more things to do. So next thing that we need to do now is add the kind of toggle the weapon kind of um, event. Okay, so under here we'll right click, say toggle weapon, okay. And what we want to do first is check if our weapon um, has been attached or we no sorry let's check if our primary right hand item here is valid okay so is it valid okay so if it's valid we'll drag off we'll do a branch and then we want to check if it's sheathed right so is it you know currently equipped or not um, right so if it is sheathed right if true then we're gonna want to draw it but if it's you know if it's not sheathed, um, then we're going to want to, you know, sheath it, so or put it away. Man, that, that's a really weird word, sheath. The more you say it, the weirder it gets. So, anyways, we'll get the mesh, get the anim instance here. Um, we'll drag off of the return value and say montage play. Okay, and we'll hook this up. Drag that back a little bit. Do another one. Uh, montage play. Okay, and as I mentioned, um, we'll just do the, you know, the flip flops here. So if it's sheathed, eh. if it's sheathed, then we want to draw it. So we'll say draw sword. And if it's not sheathed, we'll say sheath sword. Okay, so we've got that working for us. Um, next, let's go over here to our attack and we'll add in one other little check. Um, I'm gonna say branch. We wanna check if has weapon attached is true. Because um, that just basically checks if we've, you know, even used a weapon in the first place. Okay. So now if we try this out, right, I press play, right, I'm left clicking and I can't attack yet, and that's perfectly fine. Now if I hit I, E, you know, just to kind of show everything, right, I can left click, do my animations, woohoo. Um, but now if I hit Q, I should put my weapon away. And 
Um, it's attaching really weird because we haven't, <laughs> I haven't, we haven't defined where it needs to attach to. Um, that's my bad, guys. Uh, but you can see it does reattach, so we'll go ahead and change that really quick. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go to our um, skeleton here. We'll just find the slot that it needs to go to. So let's go find the um, the secondary right hand. Um, oh, and it doesn't look like we actually set that up. So that's the problem. That's why it's not showing up. We haven't set the secondary um, slots yet. So let's go ahead and do that. It's a great opportunity to do so. So what we're going to want to do is set them kind of on the pelvis here, or connected to the pelvis. So we'll right click and um, we'll add a socket that we'll call, you know, uh, secondary right hand. Uh, okay, that'll be good. And then on it, we'll right click, add a preview asset. Um, let's add the curved sword because it does have that curve to it. So we'll be able to see better, um, you know, kind of where we need the sword to be. Okay, so it's going to be really weird, really wonky. Um, so if it will let me edit, it doesn't look like it's going to cooperate, so I'll have to do it manually. We'll move it out. Um, not in the Y. Move it in the X. Y is it? It's really causing me problems today. I am not sure why it's doing this. All right, one sec, guys. Okay, so for whatever reason, it doesn't like to allow you to move things around when you have the graph option available. So basically just go find a random, you know, idle animation. Okay, pause it, go to the skeleton, and then you should be able to move things. So we'll move this over here. I'll hit E, rotate it. Um, just kind of try to, this is really weird. It's moving in world space, so it's a little strange. Um, I'm gonna set it to relative that'll make it a little easier. So rotate it like this, rotate it down. Um, and then I guess it probably needs to go this way actually. Okay, and there we go. We'll just go with that for now. Okay, so that's where he's gonna unequip it to. Um, I guess I'll move it up a little bit. All right, so he's gonna unequip it to this position. So we'll right click and we'll copy the name of that, or I guess let's do it over here. So we'll double click, right click, copy it. Okay, now let's go to our weapon. Okay, our base weapon. Interactables, um, weapons. We'll open up this base weapon, and in the weapon, or yeah, the weapon info here, we'll go to our secondary right hand, and we'll set this, you know, to be named the name of our right hand slot. Okay, so if you add a left hand slot, then you'll do the same thing. Um, okay. So we'll do that. Now let's go ahead and um, try this out this time for real, and that should work. So save everything. Okay, if you hit play, go pick that up. If I hit E, equip it, hit use. Okay, there we go. Now if I put it away, there we go. It goes in its, well, kind of right place. Still a little weird. Um, just got to figure that out. let's go see what's going wrong. So I think the problem might be in our character. So let's go edit him. Um, yeah, let's find this sheath weapon and let's just, okay, yeah. Let's make, just gotta make sure that we set these to snap to target, all of them. So I believe that was the problem there. Um, so after doing that, everything should work out well now. So if we press play, okay, and we go pick it up, hit I. Um, we equip it. There we go. We have it equipped. Okay, great. Now we hit Q. And he puts it away in the right place. Perfect. Okay, so now problem solved, right? We've fixed up some of our problems. <laughs> okay, so the very last thing that we need to do then is um, account for the problem, you know, the possibility of someone um, unequipping uh, the weapon while it's, you know, sheathed. Okay, so let's use it. Okay, let's sheath it. Okay. So now, uh, if I go pick up another weapon, right, we'd want it to kind of replace it, right, replace its position there. So if we click it and use it, you'll see that it actually shows up in his hand, but it also replaces the... 
So let's go ahead and look at fixing that then. Okay. So what we'll need to do then for that is we got to go find the attach equipment function. Okay. So we'll open that up. You'll see we've got all this ridiculousness going on in here. All right. A lot of stuff. Okay, but basically, we're going to need to add even more ridiculousness. So we're going to take, um, well, I mean, I guess, yeah, we're going to take all of this, okay, and we're, oops, we're going to take it all and just grab one thing and move it down, okay, because basically what we need to do is kind of repeat it up here, except change up some of the slots, okay, or change, not the slots, but the attach points. So what we'll do, coming off of this, right, is we want to do a branch that checks if our weapon is sheathed or not. Okay, so we'll go find our has weapon sheathed, plug it in. Okay, so if it's uh, false, right? If it's not sheathed, if it's out, then we'll attach everything to the primary slots. Okay, but if it is sheathed, then we're gonna need to attach things to those secondary slots. Um, kind of like how, you know, over in the, um, you know, the sheath weapon event, we attach it to the secondary slot. So that's what we'll need to do there. Um, so to do that, we're going to go ahead, you know, go in, like I mentioned, and we need to take everything here. Okay, everything. All this stuff. I know it's a lot. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, I basically take it all and duplicate it up here. Okay. So yes, it's a lot. Um, and there's probably better ways to do this, of course, uh, but this is just one way, and I know that it works. So um, this is just, you know, of course, to show you how to kind of get to a point that you can work from. So plug in true to up there, take the item info, and again, use that one. Okay, and now we just need to locate our, um, let's see, the primary right hand and left hand events. Okay, we'll take these and change them to the right hand slot and this one here will go to the secondary left hand slot okay and then you know if you have other you know secondary weapons already equipped you'd probably want to change those to their opposites as well um, and then I guess the last thing here is just with the the armor scenario right if you have like a, a shield um, you'd probably want to you know add a another attach point for a secondary you know slot um, so you could pop that in there too but anyways that's really all you need to do actually you know just duplicate everything and then plug these in like so into their corresponding slots okay and that should solve our problem so if we press play and I, I'm gonna pick up both of these hit E and I okay and now if I equip it here we go I have it and I hit Q I sheath it so now when I add this new one it should replace it and then um, put the dagger on her hip. So we'll use it. And okay, so we see we are having one little issue yet where, you know, he goes back to this kind of, um, you know, he thinks he has a weapon. So let's fix that now. Um, so we'll just remove this. Okay. And you see he does go back to where he's supposed to be. Um, but we just need to make sure um, that this little problem here, where he doesn't actually have it sheathed, goes away. Okay, so how we'll fix that, we'll go back to our character, okay, and we're going to go to the event graph, and we're just going to find, um, you know, over here are our equip and unequip events, okay, and all we're going to do is just on this, you know, after the equip item uh, message that we call, which, you know, if you recall, comes from using the item, right, we're going to do a branch where we check, where we check if um, has weapon sheath is true or false. Okay, and basically, if it's false, right, we don't have it sheathed, then we'll just attach, you know, do it normally how we were. But if it's true, okay, then we're going to take this little part right here and copy paste it here and say, you know, plug the true into that. Okay, so compile and save. Now, if we test this out, right, go pick up two items. Okay, hit E and I to pop up our equipment and inventory. Let's use this one. Okay, let's unequip, you know, sheath it. And now when we use the dagger, it should put itself on our hip and we should stay in this animation. So we'll say use, and there we go. Okay, so then we can go draw that now. 
there we go still do our animations you know awesome fantastic we love it so as you can see there we go right we've got some awesome stuff going on um, I hope you guys have found this helpful if you have any questions on other types of animation uh, that you you know might want to do uh, feel free to ask and um, you know I'll do my best to help you guys out um, but with that I think we'll move on from animation stuff to other things after this so thank you guys for watching I hope you found this helpful and if you like the video like or subscribe and we will see you in the next one